Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I'm going to be transparent with you and share why I've given up the 100 gram protein experiment. And yeah, the reason why was my kidneys just started to get affected in a bad way. My digestion, I was feeling crap. I had to go to hospital. It was absolutely horrific. Like, oh man. Now all the people were right what they were saying that protein powder is bad on the protein. I should listen to them. I'm only kidding. <laughs> See, I thought I'd have a bit of fun because I'm in a very funny mood today and I'm feeling mighty fun and yeah I'm looking forward to this amazing day so yeah the reason is very very simple so I ended up leaving Copenhagen to come to Bangkok where I'm at now in a lovely lovely hotel and I intentionally brought along some protein powder and all the other different things mixed up so I could make sure that I could eat 100 grams of protein then I knew I'd also have to go out and source some tempeh and some other things as well so I'd need to shop around a bit and yeah, I had full intention of still eating 100 grams or more of protein a day on my plant-based vegan diet. And then I went out to Veganery, which you will see in an upcoming vlog very, very soon, because I vlogged the whole day yesterday, and I will be pretty much vlogging every single day here in Bangkok. So expect loads of amazing mukbang videos from me, what I eat in a day, and what I do in the day videos as well. And yeah, when I was there, and I started to order all of the food, I thought about having my protein powder and all of the other different things that I would need to bump up my protein intake so I could make sure I'm getting 100 grams. My mind and myself completely was like, no, I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to be strict like I am at home because at home I do specific things with my diet where I eat almost the same foods almost all of the time and I have my other strict regimen as well in my life and I'm very, very disciplined. And I thought to myself, no, I'm on holiday. I want to enjoy myself. And I don't want to have to think about this and count my protein macros at all. So yeah, I don't feel that I want to do it whilst I'm on this journey. I just want to be completely free and do whatever I want without having to count things such as protein and make sure that I go to places to buy protein so then add it to the dishes that I'm going to be eating at restaurants. So yeah, that is literally the only reason why. And what I say is up until this point, of eating 100 grams of protein for quite a few days. I was feeling really, really good from it. It's working really well. My digestion has not been affected in a negative way. It's still exactly the same. And yeah, like I haven't noticed any negative effects up until this point. So yeah, I'm still gonna be eating a reasonable amount of protein because I get quite a significant amount just from the amount of calories that I eat from the food that I consume on my one meal a day diet journey, especially whilst here in Bangkok. And yeah, there's so many amazing vegan restaurants to go to. And yeah, I just want to explore them fully without adding my foods to it whatsoever. So yeah, you don't need to be concerned about me at all. And what I would do is as soon as I am back, I will get back on starting it from day one. And I will do the full, full 30 day protein experiment for 100 grams of protein or more. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here for. I'm going to stay for quite a while. Then me and my friend are going to go to Chanterbury and then we might travel around other places in Thailand. I'm loving being away from Koh Phangan because I get to explore new places and do new things. It's really exciting for me and it gives me the opportunity to vlog a lot more and be a lot more creative with my videos as well. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy this amazing trip because yeah, I've been in Koh Phangan since February. So it's time for some new scenery and some new different things to be going on. So yeah, I'm really, really happy to be here. Very grateful as well. And yeah, just really, really enjoy my time and making the most of it whilst I'm here. And yeah, it's a very big, busy city. So there's a lot of different places to go and nice things to do and loads of new vegan restaurants to eat as well. And yeah, I'm going to make sure with a lot of the vegan mukbang videos that I don't actually do it in the restaurant, but I actually get the food from the restaurant and do it here. Where well, there's no noise in the background from other people, music and everything else that's going on in busy restaurants in Bangkok that I will be in. So yeah, I will keep you updated and let you know when I'm back and when I start this 100 gram protein experiment again for 30 days. And yeah. One last thing I say is within like a few days, which I mentioned in the other video briefly, I did start to notice that my muscles were definitely becoming fuller. And yeah, I already had some compliments from people within a few days of saying, wow, I'm definitely seeing some changes in your body already. So yeah, it'd be very interesting to see what happens when I do it for a whole 30 days every single day. 
So yeah, that is it for this video. And what I will mention is, I'm actually going for a DEXA scan, which is the gold standard for measuring your body fat percentage. So that's gonna be very interesting to see what my body fat percentage comes out of. And in the video that I will create, which will take me a while to make, I will compare it to other athletes out there that have done DEXA scans as well. Because yeah, it's definitely a very good idea to do that and show you where I'm at compared to other people and show you also how accurate or not the DEXA scan is. So yeah, if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in this video, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. I love answering your questions, so please send them my way. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about why I have temporarily stopped doing this 100 gram protein experiment on my vegan one meal a day diet journey. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. We've got someone making some noise out there which I do not appreciate at all. It's not always a YouTuber's world <laughs> with the busy, busy, noisy outside world. We do not take into consideration YouTubers at all. And yeah, make sure if you do want new videos from me on one meal a day, which will be informational types of videos and also informational videos on intermittent fasting. I will also show you what I eat on my one meal a day diet journey, calisthenics workout and progression videos, and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself in the direction to gain and maintain the body desired energy levels and the fitness levels as well, and also teach you the right information to get there as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and that you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button, otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.